Welcome back to Make Way for Cat. Here are 11 cozy games that are coming out in April, plus 4 current Steam games that are getting Nintendo Switch releases. Be sure to check the description below for Steam pages and links to any demos I've played for these games. Now, let's get into it! The Witch Maid Shop is coming to Steam on April 4th. This potion-making sim cycles through taking orders, buying ingredients, and brewing potions while listening to the townsfolk's stories. I tried the demo a few Steam Next Fests ago, and it was unplayable then. Here's hoping it's come a long way. I myself am going to skip this one, but if you're a die-hard potion sim fan, maybe this is for you. Shabaria is a pixel art farming sim with adventuring mechanics. Plan your farm for efficiency and strategize against animals and weather that seek to destroy your crops. Explore and fight in a procedurally generated cave system, sell your goods at your own produce stand, and befriend the locals. The game touts that there is no ceiling on item upgrades to make your skills stronger and faster. Find Shibaria on Steam, releasing April 5th. You might recognize Melon Journey, Bittersweet Memories from my March upcoming games review. Shortly after, the game was delayed to April 6th. This pixel art adventure gives Animal Crossing vibes with a seedy underbelly. Uncover the mystery of your missing friend in this small town where melons are illegal and dig deep into the personalities of sweet on the surface characters. It launches on Steam and Nintendo Switch. Now this one I am really excited for. I played the demo for Song of the Prairie a long time ago and it's finally releasing on April 6th. For some time zones it will be April 7th. Enjoy all your favorite farm sim mechanics in this beautiful JRPG style art. Tend unique animals, grow gigantic crops, decorate your farm, fish, cook, mine, and get married. I remember it having a huge map and a super unique mechanic to dive deep into the townsfolk's personalities and secrets. Look for it on Steam with planned future releases on Switch, PlayStation, and Xbox. Farming takes a dark turn with Harvest Island, coming to Steam on April 16th. Play as a pair of siblings tending to the family farm while making offerings to the ever-demanding gods. Then explore the mysteries of this remote island. I did check the demo out, and I'm still on the fence about it. The dialogue between the siblings is painfully long and argumentative, and the menuing feels clunky. It's tagged on Steam as horror, emotional, and dark, so if that's how you like your farm sims, this may be worth a try. The long-awaited sequel to Coffee Talk is coming on April 20th to Steam and your favorite consoles. Episode 2, Hibiscus and Butterfly, revisits the late-night cafe, the deep conversations with patrons, and the creation of comforting drinks in a fantasy city. Master latte art, learn about alternate Seattle through stories, and change lives with one really good drink. Another team of Fable devs, different from the Kinseed crew, is finally bringing their Gamescom 2022 voted most anticipated Switch game to full release on April 20th. In Tin Hearts, build pathways in puzzle-like adventures for your tin soldiers to explore and piece together clues. You'll be rewarded with a heartfelt story behind the toys' Victorian inventor. Look for it on Steam and your favorite console with a VR release coming this summer. Play as a red panda named Rin in Dreaming Worlds, coming to Steam on April 21st. Explore four dream worlds taken over by nightmares. Puzzle and platform your way to freeing the dream guardians and use their abilities to bring balance back to the dreams. Collect materials and rebuild the town after a torrential storm in Refresh. Platform and explore your way to complete quests, upgrade your movements, and get to know your neighbors. Refresh launches on Steam April 24th. Roots of Pacha, a Stone Age take on the classic farming sim, comes to Steam on April 25th. Another game I played the early access for and I loved everything about it. From the standard farm sim mechanics to the cave full of puzzles and mysteries. The game was designed for co-op from the ground up, so grab some friends and give it a try. Mail Time is a cottagecore storybook adventure where you play as a brand new mail delivery scout. Deliver your letters, meet and complete quests for townsfolk in eight unique locations, and collect trinkets and glider upgrades. This is another game I played the demo for at the last Steam Next Fest, and it's basically a charming platforming collectathon. Do you have what it takes to be a true mail scout? Mail Time drops on Steam April 27th. There are also four games on this list. 
that are already out on Steam but have upcoming Nintendo Switch releases. It starts with Arcane Veil, vale, a pixel art open world RPG with a treasure hunting story. Level up your skills, complete quests, and face on hordes of monsters for secrets and treasure. The reviews on Steam are very positive, and it's scheduled for release on Nintendo Switch March 31st. Looking for an indie Pokemon Snap? Alakon is your answer. Wander through the mystical realms and figure out how to get the creatures called fictions into optimal poses. It's rated very positive on Steam, and the Nintendo Switch port drops on April 6th. Another photography game coming to Switch on April 6th is Paparazzi. Also rated very positive on Steam, it gives you the chance to play with puppies or terrorize them with a vacuum. Take your best photos and even share them online. Smile for me is called an unconventional point and click game. You actually nod and shake your head to answer residents. It's a wacky storyline, zany characters, and a weirdly sinister doctor. Puzzle your way through a place called The Habitat and uncover some dark secrets. The reviews on Steam are overwhelmingly positive, so look out for this port on Nintendo Switch, April 24th. So that's it. April is a stacked month. Which one are you most looking forward to? I'll be playing Song of the Prairie, Roots of Pacha, and possibly Melon Journey on my channel, so come on back to check them out with me. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.